Good day, girlies. Welcome back to another episode on the Level Up with Joshia podcast with your girl, Joshia. And I am just grateful for the girly gang. Like, I love y'all so much. I just love doing this. I love giving content. I love talking to you all. I love the level up. Like, this is something that I truly, 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 truly desire. And that's why every single time I come to you, I try to come to you with the best information possible. I I always try my best to give quality. Quality all the time, right? That's why it takes at least seven business days for these podcasts to get back to you. So many of you have been giving me suggestions, whether that be on the TikTok page, Instagram, or in my email, I read those. I want you to know that I read, I take into consideration everything that you all say, and I try my best to give us much content. So with that being said, I actually wanted to start off this series. So we're going to begin a new series called What Men Really Want. And I feel like Yari, shout out to Yari for sending me an email. This episode is dedicated to you, baby girl. Thank you for giving me the suggestion on doing this episode. And I was going to do this episode, but I wasn't going to do it now. But then I said, you know what? It makes so much sense to kick it off with the whole what men really want series. So we did F boy. <laughs> We did a whole F boy series, right? And you know, sometimes I want to give you some information on these F boys still. If they have any new tactics, I'm going to come back to you, girlies, because y'all know I'm the detective first. But on today's episode, we are actually going to be speaking on something that I think a lot of us may need guidance with. And at, at one time in my life, I wanted guidance and I really didn't have much information on it. But this is going to be where to meet men, Okay, where to meet them, how to interact to them, how to interact with them and the do's and don'ts. Right. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode. So girlies, remember what I tell you, you attract what you are. You attract what you are. Okay. And that goes the same with men. And I'm going to be very frank and honest with you. Sometimes you're going to meet the love of your life, not expecting it. It's going to be in a common place, right? But if we want to be intentional, right? We want to be intentional with dating. We want to be intentional about how we go about this whole process. There are certain things that we have to do if we want to come across high value men. And I'm going to tell you something, high value men, they're not going to be everywhere, They're not even going to be on the surface. You got to go in the cracks and the crevices to find high value men. And honestly and truly, remember when I told you before you date, you need to do a whole rebranding. You need to make sure that you're good. You need to make sure that you're mentally, physically, and emotionally stable. Because in order to go to these places where high value men are, you are going to have to look the part. I did a whole chapter in my book on how to become the feminine woman. I'm not telling you these things because I think it sounds cliche. I'm telling you these things because this is what men want. I know sometimes we can sometimes become selfish because we want a certain thing. But let me tell you something, girlies. It is a give and a take. All right. So how much is given, much is required. So if you honestly and truly and you definitely want that particular high value man you are going to come you got you are going to have to become a well-rounded high value woman it's no way around it because i can tell you something sweetheart you cannot um just pick up and go basically to a yacht club a boat club a golf club looking any kind of way me and you know that you have to dress the part you have to look a certain kind of way in order to attract these kind of men now i'm going to give you some places that you can go and this is just general because keep in mind girlies i i live in bahamas okay so for my behemoth girlies that are listening and to my girlies them that that has made the bahamas their second home you can basically put together a list on places that you can go now the other day i had a conversation with one of my my best friends right and i said y'all in order to go 
where the money reside, we have to change the setting. If you want to be where the money reside, you got to go where the money reside. The money is not going to reside where everybody is. You got to go where the money reside. If you're looking for these high value men and you're looking for these men that are going to give you the time of day, you're looking for these men that are going to make sure you don't never have to pull out a dollar to your purse, sweetheart. You're going to have to go to these places. So these are some of the top places I feel as if you can meet high value men and like i said this is just general i can't tell you what it is in your city because everybody's demographic is different but these are just general places um that i feel as if you can meet a high value man so i'm gonna give you the first thing high value men are never around men that are not on the same purpose as them let me just let me just put that there. High value men do not mix with low value men. That's that it's almost like oil mixing with water. So if you are in an area or you go to let's say a particular popular bar and there are low value men, the chances of you finding a high value man there is going to be slim to none. And even if you find a high value man, man there, he's probably only supporting probably his friend and just is going to be there for like 30 minutes and it's not as it's not a scene so where there's one high value man man there are more okay <laughs> there are more so that's how you know like this is a spot that you need to keep going to so if you if you know this that Every other time you walk into this particular bar, this particular restaurant, this particular um, gym or wherever you decide to go and there's a, there's a few high value men, then you know this is a good area for you to vet. OK, this is a good area to vet and to look cute. Now, one of the things that I'm going to tell you how to find places where high value men are, it has to be connected to their values. So it's going to be connected to how they look. It's going to be connected to their money and it's going to be it's going to be connected to their mindset. Remember this. Remember in the other episode, I tell you five signs you should date them. They were basically the five signs that you have a high value man. Remember, I told you one of the things is high value men, they prioritize themselves. Like they, they prioritize health and they're always working on themselves. So therefore, you need to go and get a gym membership. You need to get a gym membership to a nice gym. You need to get a gym membership to a nice gym. They are in the gyms. I'm serious. And, and if you're, listen to me, they in the gyms. They in the gyms because they prioritize health. So when you're looking for high value men, you have to look for what do high value men, what do they exemplify? Because whatever they exemplify, that's where they're going to be. So if he exemplifies having a nice body, go to the gym, sis. Go to the gym and look cute at the gym, but still work out in the gym because they know when you're just there. Okay, go to the gym. They are also located at fine dining establishments. So, like I said, if you are not the one to go and sit down and eat dinner by yourself, because most fine dining establishments allow you to sit to the bar, I can tell you, girlies, you need to go to the restaurants, the nice restaurants in your city. You need to go on YouTube, or you need to go on, I think it's Yelp. I think that's what it is. And you're going to, you're going to read the reviews and you're going to look at the menu and you're going to say to yourself, okay, this is a nice place for me to go. And guess what? Do not get discouraged if on the first time you go to this place that you don't find anybody. Sweetheart, remember I tell you, they ain't on the surface. You got to look in the cracks and crevices. And most of the times, these high value men, they come out first thing in the morning to grab a coffee. They come out in the evening time after work. You're never going to find, it's going to be kind of difficult to find a high value man in the, in the, in the middle of the workday because they're working like, right. <laughs> they're working they're focused on something, right. So you need to make sure to maximize the times that you're going to these places too. So if you're not a person that goes, get up early in the morning for early jog, or you're not a person that's going to get up early to go to the gym because they're in the gym first thing in the morning, because they wake up like around five, because these are high value like concepts you ain't gonna run into what you're looking for so we now have to structure our life around finding these kind of men because you're not gonna find them in that ringy dingy bar you're not gonna find them there sis and you're probably not gonna find them at that particular concert that you're going to you're not gonna find him at that dexter daps concert 
You're not going to find him there, sweetheart. You may find him to like a very influential concert that's somewhat like jazz music or R&B or something like that. But you're not going to find him. You're not going to find him to that place that you like to go to. Okay? <laughs> so on the list, number one, we have... Go to a nice gym. Number two, be a fine dining restaurant. And guess what? Curlies, y'all know I do my research. Y'all know this. I'm going to tell you this. You actually can find them at really nice grocery stores. Like, have you, if you have any organic grocery stores in your neighborhood, or if you have, like, any, like, really high-end grocery stores, you know, the ones that have the nice, they have bread on display. They have fresh bread on display, right? Those type of grocery stores, they're there. But you're going to have to pick the times that you know he is going to be there. So that's in the evening time, or it's going to be probably like in the morning time, not in the afternoon. Those grocery stores is because remember, he's prioritizing health. So he likes nice stuff. So you're going to have to go to those places. Even if it's a smoothie shop. High value men are in smoothie shops. They're there. They get their smoothie and their protein shake after they done did the hustle and bustle inside of the gym. So you're going to go there. Okay? So you're going to go there. Another place that you can definitely find him. And sweetie, take this by a grain of rice because... <laughs> Y'all take this by a grain of rice and remember everything that you do, you got to test the spirit with the spirit. I just wanted to say that as a disclaimer before you go there thinking that all church men are right men. Okay? So go to your local church. They're in the churches. However, like I said, everybody, we have to judge accordingly. So don't think because he is strong in faith that he is a good man. Okay, so you're going to have to still test the spirit with the spirit. Okay, but they're in the churches. They are. They're there. Because honestly and truly, you want a man that has a belief in something. Because if he ain't got no belief in nothing, I don't know what principles he's leading you on. See, these type of things is the foundation of men that help us to feel secured when we have to allow them to be the leader and we have to submit to them. So I'm going to tell you this now, girlies. They're there. Test the spirit with the spirit, but don't assume that every man, because he, he goes to church, that he's a good man. Because remember the Bible did tell you, those that says, Lord, Lord, not everybody that said, Lord, 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 going to enter the kingdom of heaven. So you better still use the sermon and you're going to still use the qualities and the traits and the tricks that I told you and pass me the wine. Okay? Okay. They are also at charity events. Charity events is money events because remember they're giving money, they're donating, they're donating money to these these charity events. So they're going to be to the charity events that that actually help some type of cause, right? So whatever charity event that you go to, because remember you still have the dress and look the part, you may very well find somebody that's really nice to like very well take into consideration for your next high value day like that's that's honestly and guess what i i'm gonna be so honest with you ladies these places we don't frequent we don't frequent i'm telling you because i'm guilty of it i never would really go out of my way to go to these places but now that we're being much more intentional with dating we're actually gonna go to these places but remember we never used to do it I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. We never did it. And we didn't do it. It was because we just wasn't thinking like that. But we're, we're becoming more mature with our intention. Okay? Another place that you're going to go to is sporting events. And you have to pick the right sporting events for particularly soccer, baseball, horseback riding, cricket you know things like that because there's too much to really like see through at those football and basketball events like it's really too much to see through so go for the ones that are a little less congested if you understand what i mean and i know you may not be a lady that doesn't you may be a lady that doesn't like sports i don't know the first thing about sports i don't know however i know one thing 
If you look drop dead gorgeous and you decide to go to a place where they're having a nice sporting event, you're going to caught somebody's attention because you're the only woman that's probably going to be in there. Okay? You're the only woman that's going to probably be in there. Or you're going to meet some persons there that probably think in the same way that you're thinking. Or you're going to meet the girlies that are listening to the podcast as well. But yes, they are there. And then another place you can meet high value men are ex- exclusive parties. So this is where necrotting comes into effect. Girlies, this is time now to analyze your necrot of friends. See, when we want certain stuff, we now have to be intentional and we have to fix certain things about us. There are exclusive parties. There are the, there are the invite only parties and in order to get into that circle you have to be able you're gonna have to be a good charmer you're gonna have to learn femininity because femininity is gonna catch you in the door where your name is not known but but your presence is gonna get you in there so this is where we're gonna have to master the art of seduction we're gonna have to master the blinking of the eyes and we're gonna have to master that big smile these are the places that you need to go because they are there Remember I told you they're not on the surface cracks and crevices. Go where these people are and you will find you will have better candidates to date. Okay? Better candidates. Another place if you are in like a uh, environment for that, they are at art galleries. Art galleries, yes, they do. They're at art galleries. Yes, they are. So if you have a local museum or art gallery where you are, you are going one of these days, you're going to play like a tourist. You're going to play like a sightseer and you're going to go there and you're going to be very surprised who you find there. Girlies in the Bahamas, we have art galleries and museums. We do. Go downtown, they're there, right? But these are places that men go. And then I feel like this is just common sense. They're at private clubs. Okay, they're at the private clubs, they're at the yacht clubs, they're at the poker clubs, they're at the golf clubs, you know, they're at those clubs. In the Bahamas, they're at the Whiteford Key Club, they're at Albany, okay, Old Fort Bay, okay, Treasure Cove, they're they're there in those vicinities. Okay, they're there in those facilities. So in order for you to get into these type of clubs, doesn't this mean as a woman, you have to literally look the part? You're going to have to learn how to look the part. You're going to have to learn how to sound like the part. And you're going to have to learn how to be that bitch. You're going to have to learn how to do it. You're going to have to learn how to be that girl. Because sweetie... Remember, there are going to be other women that are thinking just like you. And even though many of them, right, some are going to have superficial reasons that they're there. But if you are generally looking for love and looking for a companion, sweetheart, you're going to have to look the part. You're going to have to have those nails done and those toes did and a nice wardrobe and a nice perfume on and your hair laid. And you're going to have to be slayed. Because you can't just walk up in a yacht club any kind of way. Okay? You you can't just walk into a sporting event where a bunch of men are any kind of way. You know, you, you can't do these things. And if you try to do it, you're gonna you're gonna get very disappointed because they're not gonna look your way. You can't decide to go to a museum or art gallery looking any kind of way. So now you understand why certain certain um aesthetics you have to assume in order to be this person that they're interested in because believe it or not high value men they're not looking for the woman with the money they're looking for the woman that looks the part like to be honest with you a six-figure man is not looking for a woman that makes six figures he is looking for a woman that can give him with six figures cannot so in order for you to be able to give this man what six figures can't it's going to require you to be a very very whole feminine woman it's going to require that because he is looking for affection he is looking for love he is looking for peace because when you're making six figures you don't have these things it's very hard for a man that makes a lot of money to find peace it's very hard for him to find genuine love because the downside of having money is that you have to really always be overlooking your shoulder you're always gonna have to do that so he is looking for a woman to call home 
So don't you go there trying to be a man. When you go to these places, you're not trying to be a man. You are, you are a woman looking for the next man that's going to change your life. Now, whether he makes 50,000, 60,000, 100,000, a million, 100 million a year, at the end of the day, quality over quantity. It makes no sense us to keep dating because guess what? The reason I always want you to pick quality candidates to date is so you feel at least a bit optimistic about dating. We get discouraged with dating because we're going for low value low pool men that's why we get so frustrated because we keep running into the same men but you know why we keep running into the same men because we're not changing the environment we're not changing the way that we're thinking we're not think we're not changing the way that we look we're looking we're not changing the way that we act but the minute that you assume the role of changing the way that you used to think you're going to get better Okay, it's insanity. That's the definition of insanity. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. It cannot work. So if you notice that you keep picking up F boys, ask yourself, what am I giving off to get an F boy? Where am I going and meeting these F boys? And guess what? Most of you are meeting them online. And I'm going to have another episode about dealing with these men online. Because I'm going to tell you something. You can tell the Caliban man through text. You can. This is where your spidey senses, and we're going to call them feminine senses, has to kick in. But ladies, I'm giving you homework. And I want y'all to send me in these suggestions to my email because I want to read them off to help some other girlies. I want to read them off. In your city... Go and look for the places that I gave you. Look for the gyms, look for the restaurants, look for the art galleries, look for the museums, look for the private clubs, look for them, look for the grocery stores, look for, the, look for everything that I just gave. When you find them, write those lists down and dedicate yourself at least every weekend to go to these places. Get to know these people. Network. This is going to help you networking because I'm going to tell you something, girlies. If you find some boss girls, right, that are ready around these type of influential men, say the girls that you need to be friends with, okay? This is going to require us to now upgrade what it is that we're doing. We're going to have to upgrade. The upgrade is necessary. The upgrade is needed. So you're going to look the part. You're going to go where it's supposed to go and you're going to act the part and we're going to cop us a good man this year. Okay? No, no more low caliber shit. Like none of that. Everything that we do now, we're intentional. Everything that we do now, we are optimistic on what we're going to pick up and get. Okay? Okay? Thank you, girlies. <laughs> For listening to another episode on the Level Up with Joshia podcast with your host, Joshia. I'll see you on next week's episode. Bye.